This Chinese Elise one trick is the highest rated jungle main on the super server. Currently 1300 LP at rank 9. This guy is able to make Elise jungle work by playing like an absolute psychopath. Today you're gonna break it down, but just before that, a quick word from today's sponsor. Today's video is proudly sponsored by Opera GX, a web browser made for us gamers. This browser includes tons of features to ensure that we have the best FPS and browsing experience possible. Now, one of these cool features is the GX control. Essentially, it enhances your PC's performance if you decide to keep your browser running while you game. Uh, it's especially great for all of you that like to keep a bunch of tabs open. I know you're out there, 25 tabs plus, but you don't want to see a decrease in your frames per second while you game. Now, this panel lets users limit the amount of CPU or RAM they are willing to let their browser use. There's also a network limiter that's going to help you get more performance in your games and streams. And if you're tired of friendly fire from your own browser, guys, when you open something up and it instantly blinds you, Opera GX has you covered. You can force dark mode on every page that you're browsing. Forget about this flashy white color and enjoy your experience. Another cool feature is you're able to log into your Twitch and Discords directly on the sidebar down on the left. That's going to help to ensure that you're always keeping up to date with your friends and also when your favorite streamers go live. Now, if you're looking to stay up to date with free games, the best deals, the newest releases, and breaking gaming news all in one easily accessible place, Opera GX has you covered. You can easily switch between platforms, see the upcoming games in the release calendar, and also check a special feature only available for fans of my channel using the link in the description. So what are you waiting for, guys? Go and download Opera GX today. Link in the description down below. Give it a go and start browsing. So we're starting off with the red. The rune page, guys, he's running is the Dark Harvest setup. Um, essentially, if you've watched any of my games on the Chinese Super Server, I even played there. The one thing we all took away is it is the most psychopathic aggressive server. Constantly fighting, constantly diving. It's a very top lane centric server if you haven't realized. They played these bruises top lane and Elise is the best top lane diver in the game. So it's probably to no one's surprise why this guy does so well, but I'm curious to watch a couple of his VODs and see what he actually does um, well on this champion enough to beat out on all the insane Chinese junglers. So red to blue. Probably going to do Gromp into top lane dive with the Renekton. Like, it should be a no-brainer. Enemy team should be aware of it. But his clear is very fast. It might not even matter. Apparently he's outranking people like Sally, um, who likes to play a lot of jungle. Level 3, gets the sweeper, looking for the invade. Enemy team has a Xin Zhao. So just look how aggressive he's playing from level 1. Straight in there, he finds the Xin, he tracks the Xin. Now it looks like he can't quite do the top lane gank, looking for the mid lane. Echo, he's away. He knows exactly where the Xin Zhao is, remember? The Zin instantly path top probably knows he goes for the top lane dives and you're gonna try and sit in this brush right here looking for the counting gank. He knows this. 100% he knows this. Moves through. Gets this flash out of the Camille. They may still even look for the dive. Look at this. He wants to try and hard shove this in, help the Renekton out. One can test the top side scuttle. No way he looks dude he's literally still thinking even to dive that First blood i think xin zhao would have instantly pathed down bot right try and get bot side scuttle and i think elise is a very underrated jungle i think elise uh i think fiddlesticks very underrated and lilia i think these junglers get played a lot in china these heavy ap junglers do really well as renekton sets it up Lays the CC, Dark Harvest, it's kill. Treasure Hunter comes through, a little bit of extra gold. With 3 0 to start the game. And man, I can't speak how, like, he's playing in high elo and people know his playstyle, but they still don't react. Imagine in lower elo games, where they, they have no idea. Oh my god, Zin Zhao probably gonna need a double. And the base gets stopped here. Well done by Camille. Dude, in, lo in your lower elo games, guys, I reckon you're gonna be able to pop off with this style. You get a lot of kills. The problem with the leases is they go 10-0 in the early game, and then they die once, give a bounty, and then they lose the game instantly. That's the biggest issue. So probably something you need to avoid. Um, in order to do uh, avoid that, I reckon that stacking a couple of early objectives, a couple a dragon two, 
probably isn't the worst thing to do in your lower elo games because the games tend to go longer. They're not going to be able to FF from early leads. They're going to stick around and try and battle it out like absolute rats. Problem here is that you have the Soraka. You don't like... It's weird that you're playing the Super Serve and you have Lulu Soraka. Usually it's Nautilus Leona, things like this, but... This game, there's no layered CC, which sucks. Gonna make Elise's uh, job a little bit harder. Even having mid jung both AP is gonna make it hard. Elise, obviously. Any AP jungler, obviously, is... um. You try and synergize it with an AD mid, like a Kiana, a Zed, Yone, Yasuo, things like this, Renekton. Any type of AD pick is going to work so well with an Elise because they can't just rush Mercs and completely stuff you up. Clear well, here looks a little slow. A bit awkward. Zinzao has the lead. Now he's going to ping out the Zinzao. Zin started the Drake. We do have Flash. He does Flash. Flash for Flash. W comes out. Goes in. He still has the repel. He's just waiting here. Finally repels. Gonna wait out the Lulu shield as long as possible. Duking. Comes back in. Gets one. Gonna go down. Echo has ult. Echo gonna pop the ult back. Do they have enough CC to kill? The flash has come out. Gets one. 110 gold from Treasure Hunter. Is he gonna get another? Oh, quickly. Give him the assist. Give him the assist. Oh. Not gonna get it. Damn. Unfortunate. Tilted about that. Also has uh his chat restricted. The thing on the super server, guys, is you see a lot of these players get chat restricted. I I I got a uh, chat restricted on the super server for doing I didn't even type and I got chat restricted. I don't know why. It's very heavily, uh, it's a strict server. I think it's the only server in China that they don't allow uh, like streamers to boost on. So whenever you see a streamer in China and they're playing a lower elo account, they're playing on their viewers accounts, but it's not on the super server, it's not allowed. They're playing on one of the other 20 servers. That's allowed. Super server, not allowed. Also, they have monitoring system where there's Riot employees that look in on the high elo and streamer games to make sure no everyone's behaving themselves, etc. Boosting still goes on in the super server, but it's just not um, public. They, they don't do it on stream. Get in trouble. Very weird politics, but you know, that's uh. Comment on that. They go around for. Maybe a Drake contest. This Zinzao is absolutely thirsty. Echo gets this. Oh, we might go down. Waiting it out. I definitely think the the biggest difference between a a good Zin and a bad Zin is this repel ability. So he goes down, but he baits in the entire team. Overextension. They're going to be able to take down the Lulu. Usually it's a Night Harvester. I thought the least built, so... Dorks into Hextack, getting maximum upfront burst and damage. Only gonna do a couple of camps. Jesus, man. 30 farm at 9 minutes, I mean... Here we go, level six. We're coming in for another fight, baby. And this is why Dark Harvest is good. Some games, you could just get 10 Dark Harvest stacks by 10 minutes. If you're playing pure mayhem like this guy likes to do. Setting up for the dive. Zin, this Zin Zhao is very switched on. So we've got to move through. We're going to collect a couple of plates and hopefully zone the Camille out a little bit. But Zin is hovering because of this play style. He knows it. Herald play. If they're able to get this and get the top lane tower, very good for Renekton. Renekton into Camille is great for Renekton. Um, Camille can maybe switch on about three and a half items pretty late. 
but until then Renekton matchup is favoured in my opinion. Down, we're gonna go and try and pick up a little bit of mid lane farm. We're down so much in experience here. The early temple, probably down like I don't even know what I, I don't even know how many camps. I think Zin seven, right? He wants to go and try and help out bot lane, but he goes the real he's going such a long way. The Echo W has already been used. Good really good situational awareness here. A lot of players would greed there, try and run straight to the bot lane. Plays it super slow. Allows time for the Xerath to make his way down, who has ultimate, and will try and counter with the ult. But now he'll hard shove mid. Hopefully Xerath picks up an assist. One more. Oh, couldn't quite pick it up. He needs to play topside here. Nothing really happening. Gets the Dark Seal as well, guys. Hip tracks on this Dark Seal if he's able to get a couple of kills away. Sacks the Dragon. The ping's on his way. I want to look at itemization of the Camille. If we get this dive into the top lane tower, it's... Here we go. Try and layer the stun. You want Renekton to get the wave and then just simply move through and dive. There we go. Gonna move through. Camille knows the gank is coming. Beautiful counter gank by Zin Zhao. Let's see if we're able to counter it. Wait for the stun. Goes in. Gets the one tap onto the Zin. And now you can honestly hit the Herald. Get the tower and kill this guy as well. He's not even going to waste Herald. Oh, that was beautiful by the least. Just going to wait the repel out. Might for the speed. QW. That's the flash. Raka comes through. He could probably what? Cocoon? Oh. Funny how he doesn't. He doesn't want to use the Herald. Most players would just use the Herald, no? Doesn't show as his genius. Echo thinks it's those two and at least based. Now they go through. Renekton goes in. E, U, finish off the Camille, repel it to the Zin. Has to burn the flash here. He cannot die. The Xin Zhao is not giving it up. Ooh, ooh. No way. That's huge. He gets the kill onto the Xin. 2100 gold. Still holding on to this Herald. I, I, I can't think of a reason why we didn't use the Herald top. Because by the time he comes out of base, it's almost going to be up. I'm, I guess he wants to drop mid with it, but... We'll see. Harvester should be built. Go. Now this burst is gonna surprise you. This Renekton doing very well with the call as well. Look at this. You gotta use that, buddy. You gotta use that. You gotta use it. You gotta use it. Four seconds, three seconds, one second, go. He does save it for the mid lane last second, but the problem is I hate using Heralds uh post 14 minutes. You kind of feels like you're wasting out on those plates. Still being able to drop down that mid lane tower opens the map up a bit. Hey, 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 hey. We didn't even get the mid lane tower. It's like one health. It's going to be another dragon that he's giving up.
Wait, it, they didn't even do the first dragon? Or am I trolling? That's their first drake. They mustn't have done it earlier. I don't know what happened. I, th I thought I said that they did it. Oh. He's on the hunt. Zinzao knows he's there. He's is going to have to be so fast with this. Ultimate come through. Soraka trying to keep him alive for as long as possible. All eyes are on the Kaiser. We move in. We get that one tap. Now looking for the Zinzao. You will see these Dark Harvest procs starting to stack up. We get the double kill. The Echo takes down. Oh my god. I don't think we can take this 1v1. Right? What the hell? He's just going crazy for this. Oh my god. He gets the bounty. Man, he he's... He does so much damage. Treasure Hunter fully stacked with the Triumph. Beauty Graph. I thought he was dead like three times. People, like, you can tell that some people are really scared of him. You can see the way that some of these players they just run. We have 2400 gold. I'm wondering what his second item is going to be. Wow, he goes straight void. Just straight pen. Doesn't stuff around. It's very good on Elise. Flat pen, percent pen. The good thing about uh, the void is how cheap it is. Relative to going something a little bit more expensive. Like if you were to go for the Shadow Flame, you go for something like a Death Cap or something crazy like... It's not guaranteed and it takes a while. Then you have to build a void. And by then, by that time, you need it. And if you don't get any tempo or gold, you're screwed. You can see the Zin's out already starting to get some magic. I... Uh, I really do like early voids. I've said it for years. It's very good. That takes the blue. We're a little bit pissed about that. Let's see how we do it. E doesn't land. Everybody on the retreat from the Elise. I wonder if he just simply repels and gets on top. He goes in, hits the smite. You can see he tries to just smite Q. Execute with the Dark Harvest. W comes through. I think it's just a nuke. No way. What the hell? What? This gets a triple? Dude, the W with the Dark Harvest is actually kind of funny. Like it's, it's like a, it's like a, uh, like a, like a heat seeker. It's gonna run them down with the Dark Harvest and execute. That's so depressing. Picks up the Herald. Should be void in hourglass, I assume. You couldn't go for something too. You definitely like hourglass on Elise. Come on now, it makes sense, right? Don't go something more aggressive. Come on. Don't be crazy. Please don't be crazy. Oh, hits the void. Goes straight into the Magi's, of course. At 18 minutes, Night Harvest avoid Sorks with the Magi's. You couldn't ask to be in a better spot as Elise. Now this is where, in my opinion, most Elise mains just throw the game for no reason and you lose. So how does he counteract it? How does he counteract the inevitable Elise throw? Nukes the Kaiser. for the Zin. E. Very, very smart. Doesn't fully commit. I'm gonna wait it. Great. No face checking, please. 450 damage onto the Echo's face. Gotta be careful for the Zin Zao Lulu combo. It's gonna do a lot. Zin, of course, running with the Eclipse. The Lethality up front. Where are you, Camille? That way. Dark Harvest. 
14. The enemy team trying to smash through the dragon. I don't think they're going to make it in time. We do have flash. Remember, you can't E flash on Elise. You have to flash E. See a lot of rookies try and do it. Well, of the ultimate. Renekin comes through. We'll get that kill. Missing a lot of these cocoons, to be honest. Absolute warfare right now. Then Zhao went a little bit deep. Did he chase with his team? I think I think he's dead, yeah. You can shove through mid, maybe look for a pick top side. You guys are do you guys like Elise as a champion or do you think it needs a little mini rework? It's a pretty cool champion. It's a pretty cool, like it's a spider. It transforms. It's all right. Maybe you could use some updated visuals, especially on the E. Did it get an E visual update? I don't know. It maybe did, but it's still trashy. Anyway, as this team wants to rush Nash, he doesn't want to do it with 1400 gold he's got. And this guy's going to go a death cap. Oh my god. So he's going to go death cap. And just one shot, I guess. Interesting. You gotta pray that the Camille doesn't get onto you. Because you're not surviving long enough, even with the Repel, I don't think. Echo. He lands. We try and get the one shot onto the Echo. We repel. Come down. Have to force into the flash. What I'm talking about. The hourglass there would just make would have made his life a little bit easier. Picks up some health. Gonna go and try and clear through on the pit. First, blue buff. Oh, they want to rush this. They want to rush this. I think definitely turn is the call. Cocoon hits. Good cleanse coming out from the Kaiser. The spider doesn't know where to go. His team is still on the Nash. Smite Q with a leash should be about, what, 1300 execute, 1400. Not finishing. And the, I really don't like... Oh my god, they go in. He's able to pick up the Nash. Absolutely annihilates... Let's see if we're able to get onto the Kaiser. We do. Camille's not done. W. Q kills us in. Well, waiting for the Q cooldown. Gets one. Camille comes through and executes. Is that worth it? 31, 22. Almost got his death cap. He's lucky he got the Nash. Bro, the damage he deals, like, it's insane. I can't believe he didn't go any defensives. <laughs> yeah, it's so much. Anyways, they'll come out. He really wants this. I want to see what he can do with this death cap. A W Heat Seeker with Dark Harvest could probably do 1k executes on like a what four second cooldown, whatever it is. You see what he does with his W? He sends it out and then Qs and then it jumps, right? Is it to scout for like it's obviously to scout for vision? Sweeping, sweeping, sweeping. Don't get caught. Oh, this is risky to keep going. He goes in. They have no vision. Xin Zhao, Q, W. Goodbye. That's the king of picks.
We're on to the top side. They should be able to siege through this inhibitor. But it comes out. Can't quite find anybody. He drops very low. Instantly repels transform very fast. But he does go down. A little bit too aggressive as the Twitch opens up. His team able to make it work though. Renekton going a little bit low. Doesn't get executed. Camille still on the top side tower. And they're going to have to inhib and quickly reset I think. Because the Xin Zhao's up in 3 seconds. And the Camille just base. This could be complete overstay. What do you think? Death cap completed, gentlemen. Here comes the Camille. Here comes the Kaisa. I don't think this is going to be a good fight. We get the pick that we were looking for. Maybe even try and make our way towards the dragon. Oh, Kaisa. What's our AP, dude? Can you show, please? Oh, no. Oh no, does that Twitch burn? You better hope that Kaisa dies. Oh. And this is what happens. And then with Elise, sometimes you just feel useless in this mid game. Start up the red. I think we have to give the Drake. I don't know about this Zerath build. As he DCs the Twitch. The only server I found where I, I had more DCs and internet connections, like issues with teammates. Then Oceania, Australia, is, is Chinese, Chinese servers. I don't know why they're so inconsistent, but I just permanently had DCs, dude, every game. Every, I would say every second or third game. I think it has to do with people's VPNs and stuff. Like, the Twitch will come back, but it might take a little bit. Probably don't do anything until Twitch is back. 20 Dark Harvest stacks, FF Folk comes through. This is where people have mental collapses in solo game. He finally gets a stopwatch. I'm gonna make these fights a little bit easier. You can see the enemy team starting to get some magic as this. Xin Zhao with the quits in. Twitch, please come back, man. I didn't do this whole VOD for you to AFK and ruin it. Eight hundred damage. W. At least it's an OG champ. I'm trying to think back to what itemization used to be. She used to go that blue jungle item. I think. Remember that? Like there was that weird blue jungle item. That's season three or four or five, something like that. I don't remember what the hell that thing was called. Ah, oh, bro. Finally, Twitch. Thank you very much. Had a good break. And we're back. Enemy team, of course, knows about the DC Baron spawning in three, two, one. They did actually play the DC very well. Sometimes people have mental disasters in this DC period. They lose the game off of it. Do not fight till the guy comes back. If the guy doesn't come back, sure, fair enough. Back picks up a couple of waves. I don't think anyone is on the Nash. We have Flash. See him keep sending these Ws through. A little bit of damage on the Zen, only 500. Hopefully if they do start it, you can see they're not actually fully committing. Get a little bit of poke with the Zin with the Elise. Mil. Looking for the Renekton. As we turn. Get the Zin Zhao. Do we execute? We do. We kill him. But now the Kaiser on the hunt for the Elise. Kaiser split from the team. Flash have stopwatch. I'm gonna play that so passive. Try and heal up a little bit. Enemy team doesn't have a jungle. I don't think they're gonna Nash. Always wanted to innovate some type of Elise build, like a Rift Maker Nash's dueling kind of kind of setup. Probably just never optimal. Again, the pick master. 
surprised if he keeps basing and cancels a couple. They 100% don't know he's in here. Hopefully picking the Kaisa. Don't do that blast plant. It's going to give away your position. Finds is in here. E, W, Q, dead. Now all eyes are on the Nash. 4v5, no jungle. No splitting bot. Presumably has the teleportation. Could just be a free Nash. Echo might try and go for a steal. Echo passive, like an EQ. You can still look, look at him go. Echo is not able to get anything done. Camille gets bot side tower. It needs to be a fast reset into the dragon. Almost on our way to full build. Camille probably straight to the dragon, so need to be a little bit wary of that. Sends, sends the spider in. Ooh, that repel was absolutely fast. Now we do have the stopwatch. He stopwatches the Camille ultimate. That's exactly what you need to do. Huge bounty over onto the Camille. Just dodges out. Has no stopwatch and goes down to the Kaiser. And uh, at the end of the day, I would call that probably not worth because the enemy team got the dragon. They're on solid point. Uh, we do have 30,000 gold in the bank here. We are going to invest it in hourglass and hopefully in elixir if we have enough coin left over. On. One. Jesus, Sarah. Down makes his way through. Please don't get ace. The Zinza goes down. And that's actually not that bad. This is definitely a winnable game. He holds his flash on the last fight, which is good as well. We make our way towards... It just needs to be five-man fights. No one should be splitting, in my opinion, for the macro-wise decision-making. Saying, just AD something. Like it's going to be a fight for the bot side. The Twitch has the Guardian's Angel. You don't want to be sweeping here alone. This is a little bit scary. That is exactly why they're bush camping. But he's got a really good angle for this flank. Look how deep he's going. He's undetected. But now he is. The ward came out. He's going to keep moving through. Cocoon lands. Camille looking for him. Ult comes through. Has the hourglass. Do not forget it. Ease in very aggressively. Now it's just a wait for his cooldowns once again. Does have flash. Could look for the E. Could look for the E flash. Right land. You're going to send a W out. Oh, spider. Yeah, I thought he had a flank, but he didn't. He explodes. Now the 4v5 siege with Nash. This should be a game ender, hopefully. Poke, poke, poke. Flash. You can make one pick here. Flash is in. He does not land, but we're able to kill the Kaisa, but not quite yet. As she gets the... Hourglass through. We get the bounty somehow. And that's going to be game, set, match. If we're able to pick one more kill up. Some of these cocoons, I mean, they are a little bit, they are a little bit going wide. But the zoning, um, our boy, he picks up the win. 18 kills. Jesus, dude. This at least does a lot of damage. High elo in China. Um, give it a go in your games, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed it. See you in the next one. Peace.